Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna be explaining PCIe Gen 4 SSDs and why they are the fastest storage available right now. I'm also gonna be letting you know if these drives are the best for you, your workflow, and if you should be considering to save money and go for a cheaper option. This is gonna be a good one, so hang on in there. Hey, I'm Craig Hume, Managing Director at Utopia Computers, an awesome system builder of all sorts of incredible computers based in Scotland. On this channel, I share tips for all things tech, as well as offering up some of the lessons that I've learned from running a business all these years. If that sounds like your kind of thing, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. It means a lot to the whole team here. In 2023, there are three different technologies that your gaming or content creation PC Will, hold, will use to hold the installation of Windows, your games, applications like Lightroom and AutoCAD, and finally, of course, all your important personal data, such as videos, music, and photographs. These technologies are called SATA hard drives, SATA SSDs, and NVMe M.2 drives. And they can be drastically different in terms of speed, physical size, how they operate. However, they all coexist in a modern desktop or laptop today. So when it comes to computer storage, hard drives are still pretty popular in desktop computers. Their design really hasn't changed that much over the years. They look a bit bulky in comparison to modern SSDs, but they get the job done. They work by having a spinning platter that holds your data, and a little arm with a magnetic head spins back and forward and reads that data, moves to retrieve it. The downside on these drives is that movement is a very minute audible noise when it's in operation. It's barely noticeable, but the point has to be made that if you're looking to build a completely silent PC, then you probably want to avoid a hard drive. The speed at which hard drives can access data, save data, it depends on how fast the platter spins and how cluttered the drive is. When they are at their best, hard drives can transfer data at a rate of around 180 megabytes per second, making them best for long-term data storage. Think photos, videos, and seldomly used games rather than your Windows install and daily use applications and games. Now, on to SSDs. SSDs are solid state drives. Well, these are amazing little devices. They've got no moving parts and your data is accessed electronically through the memory chips embedded on the small PCB, basically little circuit board inside these drives. This means your data is accessed way faster than in comparison to hard drives. Plus they're super compact uh, in comparison to the size of a hard drive. I mean, look at the size of that in comparison to that. And this probably holds more data than this. And the best part, SSDs are completely silent when in use. Yay for peace and quiet. However, just like hard drives, they both use the same SATA bus connection and connect via the motherboard using a cable, which means data transfer speeds are limited to around 600 megabytes per second with SSDs. You can expect in real terms an SSD to hit around 550 megabytes per second, making them ideal for Windows and your daily use applications and games when you're on a budget. But now onto NVMe M.2 drives. These are like the supercharged versions of SSDs. They connect directly to the motherboard using the speedy PCIe bus, so there's no need for cables. This gives them lightning fast transfer speeds that leaves other types of drives in the dust. On our test bench, we have the Kingston Fury Renegade SSD. It's a Gen 4 NVMe drive, and it has staggering performance, reaching speeds up to 7,300 megabytes per second which is double the speed of their already super fast Gen 3 predecessors. With its tiny size, direct connection, NVMe M.2 drives are the ultimate storage solution for tech enthusiasts looking to gain every advantage in their workflow or gaming setup. To give you an idea of what this looks like in comparison to say walking, we've created this chart. Okay, so Gen 4 drives are fast, but how is that gonna help you uh, and me get our work done? Well, first of all, these drives are only compatible with CPU and motherboards that support Gen 4 drives. So unless you have an AMD Ryzen 5000, Intel 11th Gen or above CPU, 
and a supporting motherboard, you will need to upgrade your CPU and processor in order to access these sweet Gen 4 speeds. Secondly, it may not even help you at all. Yes, on paper, Gen 4 drives should be and are technically the fastest drives in reality, but even Gen 3 drives are too fast for some of the toughest tasks on a PC. The great news is the Gen 4 drives are coming down in price, so you can snag yourself a bargain and get a great deal now these days, with some being close to their PCIe 3 counterpart. PCIe 4.0 also brings power saving enhancements, meaning your drive runs a little cooler, consuming less power, perfectly for battery conscious laptop users. Now with the emergence of more products adopting PCIe 4.0, the decision between PCIe 3 and 4 is a no brainer. So why are people buying Gen 4 SSDs? Well, for the most part, it's their fear of missing out. They simply want the latest and greatest technology, even when they don't really need it. I sometimes liken it to buying a supercar for driving on UK roads. Sure, Ferraris, Lamborghinis and Bugattis can reach speeds over 200 miles an hour, with the UK speed limit being 70 miles an hour, it doesn't seem like the best value for money choice, and it isn't. But sometimes when you can afford the best, you simply want the best. But fret not, there might be a genuine reason for you to buy a PCIe Gen 4 M.2, and that reason is direct storage. This exciting technology is potentially going to revolutionise PC gaming. With direct storage, once the game data is stored in your system's RAM, the CPU doesn't have to spend time decompressing that data before sending it onwards to the GPU. Instead, the GPU handles the decompression, which was previously impossible. This allows for faster rendering of the graphics as the GPU receives all of the compressed data at once and doesn't have to wait. To take advantage of direct storage, you're going to need a high-end GPU that can decompress data at a faster rate than your CPU and a Gen 4 drive. Direct storage takes advantage of the faster transfer speeds and higher bandwidth, allowing transfer in gigabytes per second instead of just megabytes per second. All of this means that PC gamers are going to benefit from faster load times, improved FPS performance, and potentially more complex and higher quality visuals. Now, we love that. Now, it really is, if we think about it, a proper reason to upgrade. Direct storage is already available to PC users that have Windows 11, and there's a slightly watered down version for you guys out there that have got Windows 10. However, you are gonna need to wait for game developers to implement this technology into modern games, and we are gonna watch it to see how it really does improve real world gaming performance. But for just now, we're really excited to watch this technology grow. So if you wanna be ready for direct storage, and you're gonna need to buy a Gen 4 drive like this Kingston Fury one here. It will keep you ahead of the game and for the exciting times to come. So stay subscribed if you wanna keep up to speed with the latest in PC technology, and I will see you on the next one. Also, special thanks to Elaine at Kingston for sending the drives for us to test and for her continued support. Cheers.